Brittany, the Parks and Rec Advisory Board has been a part of the budget process, but this will be actually the first time that they see the final budget in its full form. Now, officials tell me that this year has been difficult, obviously, because of the coronavirus pandemic. While the overall budget has not changed much, I'm told there are some programs like golf that rely on customers coming in the door. Obviously, there for a short time we were closed. Uh, there were times when people didn't feel comfortable coming out and playing golf. Uh, golf has rebounded pretty nicely, but we've had to really watch our expenses. Parks and Rec Director Tim Laurent tells me the budget has been submitted to the county. He says the public should not notice any change to programs next year because of the bu budget. Laurent tells me they've done this by deferring or pushing back planned maintenance projects. He says they still plan to make those repairs, but they're going to have to do it sometime down the road. Live in North Topeka. James Ryan, KSNT News. Okay, thank you, James, for giving us that update. The Parks and Recreation Advisory Board meets later on tonight at 530 at the Garfield Shelter House on Quincy in Topeka.